Hey guys! It's been such a long time since I've recorded a video for you all. I've just been, you know, consumed in my life and it feels really good. So I'm very sweaty. I am in the south, so it gets really hot, you know, down here. It gets real hot down here. But I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about some recent changes that I've made with just how I relate to myself, um, how I tend to my own needs, and how that has adjusted the way I invest in my goals and my, um, yeah, the things that I want to achieve, right? So to get into it, I wanted to talk with you all about why I have shifted from rewarding myself with things that help me to escape my life and am now um, rewarding myself or investing in tools that help me to be more present in the world um, as I see fit and as I desire to be, right? I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out like the best posture because the camera's kind of off. I got a new phone, by the way. So if you feel like you're seeing me better than ever before, that's why, baby. But anyway, yeah, so recently I have stopped um, spending my money and spending my time um, and energy on things that I normally would use for leisure that were in reality means of escaping, right? If I felt like I had a hard day, if I felt overwhelmed, or if I just felt like, hey, I need a break right now, I would go and maybe drink or smoke, right? And those types of activities would either numb my body or mask my emotions or put me in a lull that prevented me from being able to be present within myself. And it seemed just like a quick vacation, right? They say that in all the rap songs, you know, I roll up for vacation, right? But I have gotten to a point where not, not only am I not able to do that because of the nature of the industry that I work in, which was a blessing in disguise, but I just, I'm not feeling it anymore. I just don't feel it. I'm not really um, in the mood to not be as present with myself. And what it's taught me is that having an understanding of the way your neurochemistry works and how you process stimuli from your outside environment is a great tool to guide you through the adversities of life um, those very like low, low moments that you might experience, but also the highs, right? So it taught me that, okay, instead of me feeling uncomfortable because I'm not in a constant state of peace, let me see what is it that I can use that isn't a drug or alcohol um, to allow me to be present in that and to fully integrate those energies um, into myself so that I can grow from them and know myself better and that has been again a huge just blessing in disguise because now I better know myself right before if something would bother me or if I would get upset I would escape or detach from what it was that I was feeling and I would kind of let it blow over by virtue of something that um again that takes me away from the realities of what it is that i'm truly sensing but now i'm able to rest within the fluctuations of my emotions and the sensations that accompany it and recognize what is useful and recognize what might not be as useful for me to dwell on so one of the ways that I have done that today is by rewarding myself with new workout equipment. Yay! 
So I recently had learned that in order to build muscle, it's a matter of increasing your caloric intake, but then also weight training, right? And I am used to just toning my muscle. I've always been an athlete since I was young. I ran track in middle school. Um, and then I did gymnastics when I was in elementary school, did ballet in elementary school. In high school, I was a varsity cheerleader. And I guess that's it, right? All of those things. Um, but I've never stopped um, being fascinated and intrigued by the ways that we can discipline our body and really shape it into what we imagine in our heads in a healthy manner, right? Without taking any shortcuts, but by putting in the work and seeing over time what that investment, um, what the output of that investment becomes. So today, I gave myself a challenge. I thought, okay, well, normally, if I went to go buy, you know, X, Y, Z, how much would that normally cost me? And, you know, whether that's you going out to get drinks or going to the hookah lounge or whatever, I gave myself a budget of only $35, right? An eighth, if you will, <laughs> for those of you who speak that language. And I was like, okay, what can I obtain with this instead in place of that, that will help me again be grounded in my body and feel comfortable living in this existence as I am versus running away, okay? So today I got a 20 pound weight ball. So I'm upgrading only 10 more pounds. I was working with a 10 pound weight before, but I have to continuously elevate the amount that I work with so that again, I can have gains and not just tone and maintain uh, my form, right? We're building, we're building. So this cost me 25 bucks only. A great investment that um, will help me to produce the results that I seek. And then I got this booty band. And it was only, as you can see, for $4.25. Being plus tax, it was still less than $5. Um, yeah, and what I really liked about this challenge is it helped me realize with that same money, had I gotten, you know, that drink or X, Y, Z, what have you, those are things that would have lasted me maybe a week, maybe two weeks if I really stretch it, right? but these are things that are going to last me as long as i want so long as i take care of them and i feel like that's a great metaphor for how i'd like to see my care related to myself right i don't want to keep investing in things that are short term and that just give me that instant gratification for the short while i want to really take care of myself and i want to grow into the beautiful woman that I see myself being each and every year as I gain new lessons and gain new insight. So these things will help me accomplish that, right? Having my body in a state of health, especially right now, is extremely important. It helps me to boost my immune system. There was a study that was just done showing that those who live sedentary lifestyles are more afflicted by illnesses compared to those who are in a state where they are allowing for circulation to occur in their body through these, um, through engaging with their body at a level that pushes them further, right? So I just wanted to share that little tip with y'all, um, that little life hack, if you will. If you find yourself in a state where you want to try something new and maybe wean off of some other leisure activities that you use to hide from yourself or hide from others, I strongly, strongly, strongly strongly suggest you start to invest in again tools that are going to help you to be better grounded and feel more fulfilled in this existence um next week i'm probably going to purchase some essential oils and allow those to help me elevate my mood and also you know prevent me from um getting sick so i might do a video on that but mostly that was it i just wanted to share that with you guys i hope you've been well i know it's been a long time um if this is something that's meant for me then you'll see more of me if this is not what's meant for me then i'm just glad that we got this moment together right
so much love to you guys stay healthy stay safe please keep drinking water and let things flow out of you i adore you guys and we'll see you later